Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate Drizzle ORM with Next.js, PostgreSQL, and Vercel. So the first step is to create a Next app. And I'm just going to select the default for each of these options. So after the project is initialized, let's go to VS Code and clean up the home page. And then let's go to our global CSS and remove all of these default styles here. Next, let's get this deployed to Vercel. Yes. No. And no. All right, so our project has been deployed to Vercel. So let's go to the browser and we should see our project here. So the next step, uh, we're going to want to create a Postgres database. So I'm going to go here and then I'll create a new database. Postgres, continue, accept, create and continue. And it says created Postgres store successfully and then I'll hit connect. And that should connect this Postgres database to our project. Now in our terminal we want to run this command here. And that should have created a .env.local file and added to the git ignore. Next we'll want to install a few packages. So I'm going to install Drizzle ORM. And Vercel Postgres. And a dev dependency Drizzle kit. For the next step, we'll want to create a Drizzle config. So I'll create a new file here and call this drizzle.config.ts. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in this configuration here. And then I'll hit save. Uh, and note that we don't have this config yet, but we'll get to that soon. All right, so let's go and create the schema. So I'll create a new folder here called lib, and then I'll create a file called schema.ts. And I'll just go ahead and uh, paste in the schema here. So uh, we're getting these imports from the Drizzle ORM PG core and then creating our users table here. Now let's create the configuration for loading the environment variables. So um, I'll go back to the project root here and then create a file. Uh, actually, let's create it in lib. So I'll create it here and then config.ts and I'll go ahead and paste in this code here. And this does the same thing as the .env package, uh, but this is coming from next, so we don't have to install another package for this. 
So I'm going to create the database connection now. And I'm going to create db.ts here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in a bit of code here. And uh, let's go line by line what we are doing here. So first I am importing the environment variables and then the drizzle module uh, for Vercel Postgres as well as the SQL client from Vercel Postgres. And I'm getting the users table from the schema as well as the entire schema like this. So this is only needed if we want to use the drizzle ORM. If we're only using the query builder then we don't need to do this. And this part here is only needed if we're using the uh, drizzle ORM. So this is the query builder syntax where we're just using uh, this API here that looks a lot like SQL. And then down here we are using the ORM where we kind of have this ORM like syntax. Uh, and then for inserting the user we have uh, this here so we can infer the user type by our schema. So we have this new user and then so we can use that as a TypeScript type. So in this next step let's generate the migration file. So I'm going to run npx drizzle kit generate pg and this is going to give us an error that says transforming const to the configure target environment ES5 is not supported yet. So after a bit of research, I found that the solution to this is to change this setting here in the tsconfig. So if I go to tsconfig and then change this to 6 and then rerun the command, then it should work. So let's go back here and rerun this command. All right, so it says that your SQL migration file has been created. So uh, if we go here, we should find that SQL file. So let's go up. Here's the drizzle folder, and then here is the generated SQL file. For the next step, let's create the migrate script. So I'm going to go to the root of the project and then create a folder called scripts. And in here, I will create a file called migrate.ts. And I'm just going to paste in the script here. So we're getting the migrate function from the Drizzle ORM Vercel Postgres migrator module here. And I'm also importing the uh, database uh, from our database connection file. And then I have this async function here that will run the migrate command and it'll look at the migrations folder in Drizzle. So let's go ahead and run the migrate script. So I will run npx tsx scripts migrate.ts enter. All right, so it takes a little while, um, but the way that the Vercel Postgres package works is that uh, if if uh, the connection is idle, then it will automatically close. So that's what happened there. Um, all right, so it looks like the migration script ran. Uh, let's go to our code and check the Drizzle folder here. So. Yeah, it looks like it has generated some stuff here. So there is our entry and our snapshot. All right, in this next step, let's create a seed script. So I'll create a file here called seed.ts. And I'll go ahead and copy in this code here. And so we are importing our new user type and insert user function from our DB uh, module. And then I'm creating this new user here with an email. And for the image, I'm just uh, hard coding some string in here. And then for the name, I'm uh, doing this random string, inserting the user. And then also I'm adding this process.exit since uh, 
it kind of hangs since uh, I'm not sure what the best way to close the connection with Vercel Postgres is, so I'm just doing a process.exit here. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the terminal and run the seed script. All right, so insert user success. So in this step, let's go and update our home page. So I'm gonna copy uh, this code here and uh, we are importing get users and get users too. And remember that the first one is using the SQL like query builder and the second one is using the ORM. And then we are rendering out the JSON data using json.stringify here. And let's go to the browser and refresh and it looks like it's already here so you can see that we got our data like this so now you'll be able to use this da data however you want and render it uh, however you want to all right so let's go and take a look at our postgres database in vercel so i'm going to go to data and then here i'll open this and then click on users. So you can see that this is our one user here. Now, what if we want to uh, add another field to this? Well, we can uh, follow the same pattern that we just did where we generate a migration and then run the migrate command, or we can use another approach uh, with the push command. So first, uh, let's go and update our schema so I can demonstrate how the push command works. So let's go back here and let's go to the schema. And let's imagine that we add another field here called password. And this will be a text field like this. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's try the push command. So I'm gonna go back to the terminal here and run npx drizzle kit push pg. So now it is comparing our schema with the database that's in Vercel. And it says, okay, well, you're about to ex execute the current statements, alter table users add column password text so I can say no or yes I'm just gonna say yes I want to execute all statements and then it says changes applied so now if I go back to uh, Vercel here and let me close out of this and reopen it okay so now we have a password field here so, uh, yeah, the push command is useful if you are trying to iterate quickly or if you are prototyping and uh, you just want to iterate very quickly. Uh, and then for migrations, um, perhaps you are working on a larger project where you need to have those migration files, then you would use that approach instead. For the final step, I am going to add the commands here uh, for future reference. So in conclusion, Drizzle has two main ways to update the database schema. One, generate and migrate for projects that require migration files. And two, push for prototyping or if the project doesn't require migration files. And Drizzle has two main ways to query the data. One, using a SQL-like query builder and two, using an ORM that always outputs one SQL query. All right, if you found that helpful, uh, please like and subscribe.